Today I'm doing another Stanley Parable. Um, we're going to choose some different decisions and yeah, it gets a different outcomes. So let's skim through this. Oh, there's a phone. I wonder if we can pick it up. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. That's pretty cool. That's that's really quite cool. I didn't know that that happened. Um, yeah, this game always seems to surprise me. Hopefully it surprises you too, because it's just so weird. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now let's go right. Go on right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley way. knew it perfectly well. Yes, Perhaps exactly. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yes, I did take it. Oh no, get going! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, so last time we got here, and we crossed the thing, and um, I heard that something happens if you jump off, so... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong what foot. What happens if you get off? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> okay, well, that was, that was one story ending. Um, yeah, that was a very short one, so I'm not just going to leave it like that. I'm gonna Already, this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm just going to cut to next time when I'm at that place. And, yeah, I'll see you then. <coughs> wow, that was amazing. Did you see that? Okay, well, I'm here. Um, Look, okay, Stanley, so I think perhaps happens. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, I guess it There's has. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. It's happened that Please, this is the... stop trying to make every decision by yourself. On the first time I went through this, this me. is what happened. Like, I'm asking for her. For her, yes. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She's been waiting, guys. Okay, so last time we went in here and the phone started to ring. Then I went up behind it, took the plug out, and that's where we left it. So let's see what happens now. That's her, Stanley. Oh, you need to be the one no, to do this. No, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I think I should do it, guys. I think I should do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in closer. and tell me all about your day. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. What the hell? Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Screw you. Let me show you what's really Honestly. going on here. This guy, it's biggest tool bag. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What the hell? Press J on your keyboard. What if I don't do it? I'm not gonna do it. 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 Yo lo. Yo lo, bro. I'm gonna get out of here. Can't. Can't get out of here. I'm not gonna do it, though. I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me do it. 
You can't make me do it. Fine, I'll do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. He's now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh, yeah, thanks. B to watch TV with TV. And so he began oh. to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. <gasps> spend time with the boys. <gasps> spend time with the boys! The boys, bros! So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, Don't even get choice. Spent time with boys. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner. Okay, honey, I'll prepare dinner for you because you can eat it and go through your digestive system and come out your anus. And you're gonna love it. It's gonna be the best thing in your world. As he wandered through this fantasy oh. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down Here another was that. a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And Here down another that. was a game with a baby. And he called it no, no, the, the Stanley one. Parable. Hmm. Oh, I'll tell the kids a story. <gasps> it was such a wonderful fantasy. No, 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 and no. so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. <laughs> Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I don't need to press no button to tell you I love you. I love you. I love you! I'm gonna kick your face. You. But there is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? In reality, no, all he's doing is pushing button. the same buttons Great. he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Ready, guys? We're gonna go to the site and put it hard now. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. YOLO. Wait, YOLO, which one? Shout to a YOLO. The one that he said not to push a button, or the one that it says to push the button? I think my brain's about to explode as a pretty crazy thought. I mean, like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't want to just press Z because it'll probably take me back to normal. Or maybe if I don't press it, it will take me back to normal. Let's do it. You see? Yeah. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? Extreme. How can I make him look at himself? Get a mirror? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll suppose. try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. Again. 
What? Please and die. pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Ah. Well, he killed me.